Now, I'm not going to say hello and welcome because I realise at the start of every single one of my videos, um, I seem to introduce myself like that. So, this is uh, the, the final set of videos for this project. Now, it's taken you from this kind of the initial thumbnails where we've quickly sketched up some ideas and we thought about which ones we like to develop. I developed this one and I kind of developed this one. Uh, I took them into the, the development stage where I developed three ideas and I kind of combined these two uh, to come up with this one. Now I highlighted this one, I put a halo around it to make it stand out and this is the one that I'm going to take forward into my final bag design. So at this point I've sketched up the my final bag um, and I, I'm going to keep this one up close to me there like that. Now I'm going to split this into three different videos because they're going to take uh, a little bit of time. So in this first one I'm going to look at planning out the initial uh, bag from my developed thumbnail and I might develop it a little bit further, put a bit more detail into it um, like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with uh, a center line um, like that. I'll make that a little bit darker so you can see it. Um, and I'm going to put in another one across the middle like that. Uh, and I'm going to put in almost a couple of grid lines down the side like that, like, almost like margins if I was doing this as a bit of desktop publishing. And I'm going to put in another couple across the top and the bottom like that. So I have, you know, I'm not going to go outside of that. Now, if we look at my thumbnail here, I can see that I'm using one, two, three, four, four colors plus the black. Now, we haven't really looked at the screen printing in great depth. Now, if this was getting screen printed, it would take four different color separations, which would be quite expensive. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reduce the number of colors in it. And I'm going to take out this purple and I'm going to use the blue. I might use the red and I might use the green. So I'm going to take it down, but I'm definitely going to use the black. So what I might do is put in more detail with the black and limit the colors maybe to the blue and the green. So we have these two kind of harmonizing colors that we're using. I might be tempted and use a little bit of red. Now, I'm going to start off with my hearts. And in fact, I'll start off at the back. So the, in the background, then I'm going to work into the, sort of the middle and then in the foreground. So I'm working forward. So I'm going to start off with my swirls. Now my swirls in that, in the original one were quite horizontal. But what I think I'll do is I'll make them a little bit more interesting and change the thickness of them. Now, I'm probably pressing a little bit harder on here than I usually would because it doesn't show up that well on the screen like that. So I've got my kind of swirls like that. Now on my design I had a, a heart over here um, so I'm going to put my heart in to this bit. So I'm going to draw a centre line so again I'm taking a little bit more care this time and I'm going to put in my heart over here like that. And again I can see that it's a little bit off here. This side is a little bit, so I'm going to go back in. And again, these are construction, so I'm just doing this just to get the positioning right off it. Now I've got another heart over here, so again, I'm going to put in my center line, and I think this time I'll have it going the other way. So this one is sitting like this. So this one I'm going to move around and put in this kind of angle over here. So again, you know. Now, unfortunately, that's my phone ringing. <laughs> Typical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just reach across and I'm going to switch that off. And then I'm going to get back to this. Now, I have a couple of bottles. Now, you can see... In demand. In demand. Right. I have... From my original one, I have quite a bit of space between this heart and this bottle. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually overlap these. Uh, I'm going to put them in proximity so they're sitting next to each other. So at the same time I've got my um, my bottle, I'm going to pop my bottle in here somewhere. Now, that's maybe a little bit vertical. So maybe I'm going to make it a little bit tilted so it's a little bit more exciting. So I'm going to put that over here. Now, I'm not going to sit and make you watch me do all of this. Um, so I've got my bottle in here like that. Now you can't really see it so I'm going to darken that in again 
a little bit more than I probably would. So I've got my bottle here. Uh, I look back at my development and I can see I've got another bottle sitting over here. So this time, I think what I might do is I might have this bottle sitting down into this space here. So I'm going to pop the center line in again and I'm going to develop that into or draw that, sketch that into that area like that. Now again, I'm going to look back at my design work and I'm just going to make sure that's focused okay for you. There we go. I'm going to look back at my design work and I have my, my lettering uh, up here and it says less plastic. So this time I'm going to plan out where my less plastic is going to go and it's going to follow that wave like that up to the top. Now I'm going to work out L E S S P because what I don't want to do is I don't want to run out of room so I can get that in there. Now this time instead of writing the text I'm going to spend a little bit of time and I'm going to do some fancy writing in there like that. Now I, again I'll complete this between videos um, but that's where my text is going to go. If I look I have my fish in my other one so I have my fish here and I actually quite like the way this fish bubbles what I might do is I might actually have those bubbles as hearts and fitting in with this kind of heart shaped here. So I'm going to go back in and I am going to sketch out that fish in position. Now it's kind of about there so I'm just going to sketch it in there and I'm going to look back. In fact what I might do if I look at my design work is more, actually more of an oval shape like that. So I'm going to sketch in my fish in position there and I'm going to put in its tail there. Let's put that in. And I'm going to have it going behind the heart this time over here. I'm going to sketch through like that. So what have I still got to put in? I've got more life to put in. So what I might do is I'm going to put in my more life in the bottom there. So M O R L I F E. Yep, I'll get that in there, no problem. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to finish sketching this up. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to block in the colors. Okay, thank you.